ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Um, we've been hearing left and right from different from different sources that Hodana Leye um, and her husband is being killed in Kismayo. First of all, if this news is true, I send my condolences to her family. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them the strength that they need. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, give them the patience, the sabr that's needed to deal with this uh, horrific incident. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive Hudan and elevate her to the highest level in Jannah. Indeed, it is from the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we learn that your end and how people talk about to you after you leave and your departure from this dunya is an indication whether Allah accepted you or not. And from what I'm hearing right now from all social media sources, that everybody is saying beautiful things and good things they mentioning memories of Hodon Naleye that they had with her. And I personally, alhamdulillah, worked with Hodon closely. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, again forgive her if the news is true. And she was a wonderful, wonderful person. Even before she put the hijab on, you can tell that Iman was in her heart and he loved Allah and he loved, she lo I'm sorry, she loved Allah and she loved Islam. She loved her faith. She was proud of being a Muslimah. She was also proud of being Somali. She was very proud and she wanted to do something for her people, for her faith, for her deen, for her community and for herself. And I ask, you know, I ask these people who are doing this, killing innocent people, killing the best of us. I don't know where is your aim, what is your goal is, but it seems that your ultimate goal is to eliminate anybody with decency, anybody with khayr, with seed of khayr in their heart, your purpose is to eliminate anyone who wants to do something for our country, for our religion, for our, you know, in people. It seems that your ultimate goal is to go after those who have the intention and the potential of doing something for us. And I don't know what religion you follow. I don't know what deen you follow, I don't know what Islam you follow, but definitely not our Islam, definitely not our deen. Not the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not the deen of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali, not the deen of Ahl al-Madhahib, Ahab al-Hanifa, Malik, Shafi'i and Ahmad, not the deen of the ulama of our time. I don't know what deen you follow, whose deen you follow. But I know one thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not waste her effort and the effort of people who did a similar work for the Ummah. You people kill Ibrahim Adawi, a man who left with two PhD, left the United States of America so he can benefit his people. And when he was going, and it hurts me every time I remember this, when, I, when he was going, and I was in Maryland at that time. I say, Dr. Ibrahim, you have two PhDs in education. You can make the most money that anybody can make in the West. You can be a professor in one of these universities. You can do so much for yourself and for your family right here in Virginia and in Maryland. And you know what he told me? Saeed, I want to do something for my people. I want to help my people. And what did you do with the first patch of students, with the first group who were graduated, would graduate? 
They kill him on the spot. They kill him on that day. And today, I don't know where and where are you going with this? I don't know what religion or even madhab or even ideology you follow. Going after innocent people. Killing innocent people. Oh. Somalia, I don't know where you're going with this. I really don't know. As though we don't have. enough enemies as though we don't